Hello, fifth. It's the Boo Roo one more again. And again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I'm going to keep coming back. You're not going to get rid of me anytime soon. So deal with it. Um, I'm picking up this video where I left the last one off. Uh, living with my three oldest brothers' dad. And I think their uncle passed away and so his house was left vacant ish I guess I'm not sure of the exact circumstances so we moved like two houses three houses down into that house <coughs> it was rough there's a lot of shit to move but we stayed there for a little while he had a bus that he was trying to convert into a camper. Okay. Because he wanted to travel around and this and that and the other. Oh my God. So I was trying to dig a sewer line and whatnot and he was trying to tell me how to do it. And I got mad. My the next oldest brother, the one that wears camouflage, he had had an accident at the company he was working with and had burnt his arm. Uh, now mind you, this is a whole different brother getting his arm hurt. So two out of the five so far have had hurt arms. <coughs> so he got mad because he's sitting there watching us and he said, give me that damn shovel. And so he started digging the hole. I think I had about a five foot diameter hole about four foot deep in freaking red clay yeah I was mad I didn't want to dig no more it was hot it was summertime the humidity was fucking ridiculous I just didn't want to do it no more so and not to mention I was almost all oh, right around 16 so yeah I was a handful myself and at that particular time I think I was I had right around that time I was still with you know my first girlfriend and I think I was working at a pizza joint and if I had been 18 years old they would have made me a manager I was doing so well up there because I, I gave a damn I gave a shit about my job and I wanted to give the best quality that I could unlike a lot of the rest of them that were up there that were just shit you know, the, the, the three oldest brothers' dad, he had uh, a big old tractor that he liked to work on that he wanted to make run and stuff. And I'd help him work on that every now and again. I'd help him work on the camper bus thing. Uh, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time at home, so to speak. So the, he got mad about that. What happened after that? <clears throat> I moved out. Now, I, th I was right around 16 at this time, so if you've watched a couple of the previous videos, you'll you have remember you may remember me talking about my mother f getting a new best friend. Um, well, I still kept up with them because the Scottish son and daughter were still in the United States, and I was still pretty damn good friends with the son. And my best friend at the time, we all three kind of hung out and stuff. And there was another guy, he was a fucking nutbag. A big old beast of a man, and he was just fucking psychotic. Well, I'll give you an example. He got mad at me for some fucking reason. I had a 10-speed bicycle with the skinny tires and everything. And he took that damn thing and stomped it into a, a little fucking box, you know. I mean, a big old fucking grown man bicycle. He took that damn thing and he, he, my mom's best friend, I was still keeping up with them because of, you know, the older kids and whatnot. Uh, <coughs> so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to move out of my brother's dad's house and I'm going to go move in with them. <laughs> well, that was a fucking mistake. Now, granted, she was real laid back. I mean, we didn't do drugs, we didn't, you know, smoke cigarettes, we didn't drink, uh, but we did like to have fun. 
like, all right, you know, so I mean, we, we'd go hanging out and whatnot and be just teenage boys and doing our thing and making money and this and that and the other. And um, after that, they had to move or something other for whatever reason. I think her grandmother or mother or something was getting ill and she had to come live with them and da 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 da. It was whatever. So, my happy ass decided that I was just going to kind of do my own thing. So, I bounced around a couple different places and ended up in my own apartment. And I'll talk about my own apartment in the next video, but <clears throat> prior to all that, prior to actually getting my own apartment, <clears throat> I moved in, the, the pizza joint that I was working at, the, the manager there, she was real nice, she, you know, she took care of me because I gave a damn, and she wanted to keep me working there so that she could, you know, have prosperous business, and I get it, I understand. So, you know, I kind of explained the situation to her. She's like, all right, look, you come stay with here for a couple of weeks till you find something better. Okay. Well, in the midst of all this, you know, my, my girlfriend at the time, she was she was real into church with, because of her parents, which, you know, she was a good girl. I, I liked that about her and everything. But So I was going to church with her and everything, and we had like a lock-in or something one night. And I got a bad migraine. I, I mean, a really bad fucking headache. I was, it was so bad, I was screaming in the bathroom and they could hear me like all the way across the other side of the building in the church. So, I ended up having to move out of there because they thought I was sick with something contagious and the uh, my manager had like a compromised immune system for something or other she had as a child. I don't know what it was. I, I don't blame them. Don't hold nothing against them. Absolutely not. Uh, they were being safe and I get it. So I stayed a couple days at the, uh, the youth pastor's dwelling and after that, uh, my three oldest brothers, one of their friends that you know I grew up around and have known pretty much all my life, I was like, dude, I said I gotta have so much to stay. Besides this, I can't stay here. So I went and moved in with them for like another week, and shortly thereafter, while I was still working at the uh, pizza joint, I uh, I found my own apartment. So. You know, over the course of a couple months, I bounced around about four or five different places. So, but, yeah, that was a very chaotic time. <laughs> very chaotic. I think that's about all I've got for this video. So, I'll catch you up on my new apartment. <laughs> Next video. Boogaroo out.